It is Tuesday today and we are actually on our way to pick up Augers from kindergarten. So the time is what 4.15 so I think he's quite ready to be picked up now. I'm here with Toby and Leonora. She's here in the back and you can probably hear her. I'm really sorry about that but she is not happy about um, the car ride. But we are going grocery shopping all four of us today because tomorrow we are having some guests for a, for dinner and we just thought it would be easier to do the shopping today since tomorrow will be kind of packed if we will wait until then and uh, then we will also do some flower shopping as well to make the house a little more pretty and make the atmosphere lovely right yes and whatever she says <laughs> yeah. And also something that I am very, very excited about is a delivery that we also have to go and pick up on our way from the groceries. So I have ordered some baskets for the kids' rooms and um, I'm really excited about it, I must admit. I'm not sure what is happening with me, but I am really get excited about kids' stuff and especially interior kids' stuff. I will do the uh, unboxing with you and show you what it is that I got. I have to... <laughs> to end this now because uh, yeah Leonora is very very sad so I have to take a little care of her shopping and I thought I will just do a little grocery haul just show you what we got for tomorrow and yeah so we got some tomatoes these uh, we're going to make a caprese caprese <laughs> salad I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it in Italian caprese, caprese. Um, but we're going to make that so we bought a lot of just small uh, sherry tomatoes for, for that. And then we got a lot of parsley. So we're going to make a pasta with homemade uh, parsley pesto. Super, super delicious. We have done that tons of times and it just, it's a, it's a winner all the time. So we have made it very, very easy to ourselves uh, for tomorrow. So we are making some salmon this caprice salad and also pasta with pesto. For tonight we're actually going very easy. We are just going to grill some hot dogs. So easy, not healthy at all, but that is how it is sometimes. Just some cucumber and burrata for the salad tomorrow. Also we needed some more oil so we also got that i also uh, think i'm going to buy a chocolate cake for tomorrow and then i also got this uh, vanilla hetsen it's, it's called it's a danish brand but just a chocolate cake with some vanilla ice on the side it's always super delicious in my opinion then i always find these ready to go mixed salads this one is a kale mix I really love these uh, for lunch. I do these almost every day. I just add on these and make avocado on some rye bread. It is super quick and easy and super healthy as well. So this is a way for me to get in some greens during the day. More tomatoes, the bread for the hot dogs, some parmesan cheese for the pesto tomorrow, avocados and some and some lemon, so I always drink lemon in water. Actually, I do it every day. It just contains a lot of great vitamins and I really love the, uh, love the taste of it. It's so fresh and especially during the summer, it's very summer fresh drink, so love this. Just some butter for the salmon and some of these pine nuts for the pesto. 
Uh, the salmon is already in the uh, refrigerator just because I just wanted it uh, to cool down immediately from the grocery shopping. Yeah. Yeah, so this is all we got for the groceries. Um, very simple. So there were not many flowers to, to choose from. So I just got a few roses um, and some greens as well. So that is basically it. I'm just going to mix it all together, I think. But um, yeah, so the flowers are also ready for tomorrow. So basically, we are ready. So August is super super excited about this unboxing. He has actually picked out um, the storage box himself. So it's very interesting to see how it looks in real life. So let's just uh, unbox this now. first basket that we got is August. He is obviously super excited about this. So this frame is called rice and this one here is the largest size. So I'm quite sure they come in three different sizes. So a small, medium and then the large one which is this one here. And it's just the perfect storage box. And I can't get my head around how much stuff you just collect over time. So August has a ton of, of trucks and fire trucks and uh, just major cars and everything. Things that really, really takes up a lot of space. So this one here is very needed. So this one will be to all of his big trucks in this room. So this is the first one. And all, we also got one for Leonora because even though she doesn't have that many toys yet, but it still actually adds up. So I also got her, let me see, a large one. This is also super, super cute. Yeah, so this will go into Leonora's room and the other one here for August. Should we, uh, should we do yours? And uh, he's impatient, I really get that. Let me just remove this huge box. Okay, so he already started out and he actually is... Um, let me show you. Putting in all of his big trucks as you can tell they are quite, quite large and already takes up a lot of the space in here and as you can tell we also have these baskets over here for all of his toys um, these cabinets here and also we have plenty of room in these cabinets as well that we that we also use um, for his toys and storage as you can tell here so things are really really adding up and even though it's a kids room and they obviously have to be able to play and have a lot of toys I also think it is important that the room stays quite clean and calm as possible so I imagine this one should go here by the end of the bed so let's try it out For now, this is how it looks. This is just all of the larger cars that we were having out here are now down here. So happy about this. So then you can do, you can close it right here like this. And then should we try and put it here? This, let's see, let's see. Is it good? Okay. Huh? Do you like it? Khalid? And then this one here will, as I told you, go to sister's room, Leonora's room. 
I will of course link the brand and these two in particular uh, in the description box below if any of you are interested. But um, I think it's the perfect basket uh, for, for toys. It is such a cute piece. Okay, so nothing beats an empty package like this for for playing around. Right, August? Did your live house? Yeah, it's a playhouse. So I just wanted to show you the results. Right here. I think it looks stunning. Maybe at some point I will move things around a bit, but for now I actually think this looks great. And then I had to run some errands, so I had to pick up some baby presents, bought some cute sets for, for the new babies that has arrived here in the family. Besides from that, I also went for, I can just show you actually, here we have the presents that I got. They're actually identical to each other. It's the same set that I bought them. I also had to walk by uh, this place called Tiger. It's just a place that has a lot of funny, small, very cheap stuff. And I always love to go there every time we have to go on a flight with our son. He is three years old, so he definitely needs something to entertain him on the flight. The flight is four hours and I feel like that's such a long flight. So I had to go by and see if I could find some fun activities for him. So I'll just show you what I got. I bought this kind of activity book. For sure this is probably more for little older children. It's still kind of funny to sit together and do these kind of uh, fun activities together. There are all kinds of stuff in here. So this can keep him occupied for a while. And then I also just bought some new pens as well in different colors. This sticker book, there are some pages here and then some stickers that you have to find the right stickers to place on the trucks and everything. So this one I also feel like will be a winner. Now I will start preparing some lunch before I sit down and make the very, very long travel list. I will show you in the end how much stuff we're going to pack. The lunch for today will be, I think, some avocados, some boiled eggs and also this kill mix and i'll just show you something i think is a little funny so so my husband was preparing to do a, in his opinion a very delicious sourdough bread but let me just show you what happened so i don't know if you can tell it is in these small plastic bags here but this is the result. Can you tell how thin this bread is? And like, it is, yeah, it's very, I don't, I don't think this one is good. Yeah, so I, I think he needs some practice. For the first time since giving birth, I am in a pair of jeans. So happy about this. Um, I love wearing jeans. And here are the jeans. And I just got so happy and surprised that I was able to fit into these ones. So these ones are not the regular size that I'm usually wearing when I am really back in shape and everything. But these ones are slightly more baggy and larger in size. I bought these when I got pregnant and I was able to wear these, I think it was around four months or so. Okay, so here's the result of the lunch. We got the egg with some turmeric on, the kale mix that I have mixed with some sesame oil, some avocado, some walnuts, and it's, it tastes delicious. <laughs> I know it's not aesthetically pleasing, however, it's super healthy and it tastes, it tastes really good. And it is Leonora that you can hear in the background, she's excited as well. Just got back from 
from a very nice coffee date with one of my friends. But tomorrow we are leaving for Spain and I have not packed anything yet. So I am a little, I'm a little behind and I really, really need to, uh, to get things sorted out. We are also having my sister and his boyfriend for some dinner tonight. So I do not have that much time left until I also have to pick up August and they are coming for dinner. And I don't know if you can tell from the background, but that is so far that I have pulled out for this packing and that is only some dresses so I need anything everything else also for the kids and the rest for me and Leonora she is not feeling it she's not going down for sleep I've tried so many times now um, yeah so I have to <laughs> also pack while having her on my arm so that's also a little challenging I always find it quite difficult packing for warmer destinations since I don't actually own that many cute summer outfits especially now since I'm still not able to fit into my current denim shorts and but just my shorts in general she seems kind of tired so I will try and put her to sleep I will be back okay I am back now she is not the easiest one today. She also got her vaccines yesterday and um, super, super close to our flight. So that is not the best combination and planning from my side. However, we just have to go with it and um, what does that mean? Okay, so I do not have any more space on my memory card left. So I just switched to my phone Um Leonora is still not asleep and I have so so much to pack so I am going to leave this vlog now and I hope to see you in my next vlog in Spain have a great day everyone and